So after a little bit of fallout from last time, I'm going to get back into a little bit of the CNC plasma machine. Basically, I just want to wire up the plasma cutter to work with the controller circuit board, basically. So we got the torch here, and it works off of this little push button here. So basically, all I wanted to do is probe these little pins, and basically, once you put the probes on them uh, from the multimeter, you press the button, and whichever ones check continuity between the probes, that's the one, that's the wires we're gonna splice into in the plasma cutter itself, if that makes any sense at all. Plasma cutter, probes, that's the ones right there. Whenever I press the button, it completes the circuit, and we get continuity between it. So two shorter ones here, see how there's some long ones on the right side, and you got these shorter ones, it's those two. So when I had the probes on those, whenever I pressed the button on the torch, those would, those are the ones that would create the circuit. So this is the front right up here and we got these two wires are on the top side and there's two on the bottom side. So when this thing is plugged in, these two shorter probe looking things are on the top side and the longer ones are on the bottom side. So I'm going to take these two right here and those look like the ones because they go to another coupler together so I assume those are the ones that are the one for the trigger. So all I'm going to do is get a T-splice and T into these and then run wires out to the controller board. So I got one on there and this is one of the cords going through right here and then I have one spliced in that goes out the front vent and I have to do the same to this wire right here. They look like this right there, that little guy, and they just close in. One side lets a wire through, one side stops a wire. Pretty convenient. <laughs> There's actually only one more thing I really need to do to get the plasma machine actually running, which is put this big outlet in there. So there was already a 220 outlet here, so I'm just upgrading it to this. And it's still okay with the wiring and all that, the 10 gauge wire and all, all that good stuff. Before I actually go ahead and hook this sucker back up, I want to see what I got. So I'm going to go to both leads and 250. So if I go to the ground and one lead, I should get half that, which is a regular outlet basically. And then to the other. Cool. So I think we're all right there. That works. Also, this is a really another cool thing. I got this thing to move at 500 inches a minute. Try 600 inches a minute. So this was more or less just acting like a filler video almost. I really am at a loss as to what I should do with the CNC plasma table. Path Pilot is, I, don't, I'm, I mean it would probably work, however I go to a guy's shop and I sort of help him out with design stuff. He has a bunch of manual machines and everything, but I sort of help him out. And he also, the only automated equipment that he has is a plasma cutter, a CNC plasma cutter. And it has a torch height control. And he gets a lot of stuff that is warped, old barn siding. Uh, he gets like the corrugated metal stuff. And that really made me realize why everybody says you need a torch height controller. So I'm going to do that. And after some research, 
I find it's going to be very hard to use the torch light controller with Pathpilot. This was like one of those videos where you know you have a lot of stuff to do, so you just don't want to do any of it. So I just did a kind of, I swept the floors basically and just tidied some things up with the machine and everything, got the wires all all routed real nicely. So I am going to get a Z-axis and a torch light controller. And with that, I will, I might go back to Mach 3. Uh, I already have the license for it and everything, I paid for it, so I mean I can go back to it very easily. I can just put Windows back on this computer and and let it rip. So that's always a possibility and I know the Torch Height Controller will work with Mach 3 and I know this board will work with Mach 3. I mean it's just kind of up in the air right now as to what I should do. So I'm just going to continue making some brackets and stuff for the limit switches, for the e-stop switch. After that, it'll be ready to go really. I gotta get the Z-axis though, which is cool. Take a look at this. Yeah, that's a C-beam axis linear actuator from Open Builds. And some person told me about this a while back when I said I wasn't gonna use a Z-axis and torch height control. And he showed me this, I remembered it. And it comes complete with the motor and everything. All I have to do is get the driver. And that will work perfectly fine. That would be so cool because the torch height controller has its own specific step and direction. So it gets a voltage from the plasma cutter and then it tells it which way to go basically. I'm just kind of confused on how it's integrated. Maybe somebody can help me out with how it's integrated. Like is it if I post out to Mach 3? So post out the the code, the G code to run the CNC. Does it pause before it goes down and initially touches the plate and then raise back up? Or how is it integrated to know when to pause right before it runs the toolpath to make sure it gets that, that clear distance? It's kind of weird to me how it's integrated like that. I'm not 100% sure. But it is very interesting and very cool how it works because I've seen multiple work. And there's been multiple times in this project where I said, almost said, scrap it and I'll just go buy one that somebody else made. Anyway, I'm glad that we got this thing running 600 inches a minute. It's just gonna take a little more time, which is just that much more frustrating, which is okay. It's all, it's all in good time, and it's all, it all comes with good learning. So I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.